guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. I'm excited to be filming today. I'm just doing a little get ready with me. I do have to go run some errands. I have a ton of new products that I wanted to show you. Um, talk to you about some of them because I have been using some of them for a little while But they are pretty new products to the market. There are some that are just new to me But I've been trying them all out. This is the look that I created. It is definitely daytime appropriate little glittery eye Beautiful. I just really enjoy how my makeup turned out. I will be talking about the new NYX um, brow glue, the e.l.f. putty blush. I have the new NYX shine loud lipstick that I've seen everywhere on Twitter. I am using the Dose of Colors products. I also have a really gorgeous hourglass eyeshadow to talk to you guys about. I'm going to also be using my new Nabla products. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this makeup today, then just keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and brush up my eyebrows, which is what I always do. I just take a little spoolie and I brush them up. Then I'm going to take the NYX brow glue. This is, I don't know if this is my favorite product. I've had it for a few days. I've used a few times. Tiny, so it's a really nice applicator. I will say, though, that this formula is kind of goopy. It seems pretty thick, so I'm not really sure how much I like. It also stays wet for a really long time. I like to use some type of gel on my brows and then go right in with a pen or a pencil, whatever I'm using, to fill them in. But this takes so long to dry. I almost can't do that. I almost have to wait till I'm done with my um, makeup and then fill it in. Um, just because of how goopy and wet it stays. I'm continuing to use it. I think it does an okay job holding my hairs in place. Just, um, it just is so wet for so long. Next, I'm going to go in with the Milani Weekend Brow. This is a brow pen. I've absolutely fallen in love with brow pens this past year. I think they just work so well for the eyebrows that I like. So I'm just going to apply this in little stroking motions just to add the appearance of fuller brows. This is a nice formula. It is pretty sheer. It doesn't pack a lot of punch, which is nice if you like to build up your brows. I have this in soft brown. It's a little warm for what I would prefer, but the next one was dark brown, so then I think that would probably be too dark for me. So I do wish that they had more colors in this formula because I think it's going to be a really nice formula, a very sheer, workable, buildable type brow pen. It's not super pigmented, but because it doesn't have a tone that really works great for my hair, I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of it. Next, I do have this NYX Fill and Fluff Professional Makeup. This is in clear. I don't really understand what this product is. It does have a little brush applicator fluffer on one side, and then on the other side, it is like a clear wax. I think it's supposed to hold up your eyebrows. I did get this free with my Ulta order, so I figured I'll go ahead and apply some, see if it does anything for my brows. Maybe it'll help hold them in place. Alright, now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I actually might like the NYX Fill and Fluff more than I like the brow glue. This seems to hold it really well, and there's a brush, I don't know, it's super unique. But it seemed to work really well in separating my eyebrows and getting them to lay down flat on my skin. Kind of the laminated type look. I actually really like this. I think I'm going to like this a lot more than that glue. That glue just is so goopy. Um, it takes forever to dry. It has kind of a thick, shiny layer to my eyebrows. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do like this fluff and fill. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm using my Eye Elements and Core every single day. This is what I am using on my lids to prime them. I just use a very light layer on my lids, blend that out with a little brush. I don't normally set this, um, I just find that that kind of works better for eyeshadows. And for eyes, I do want to play with My Tiny Marvels from Sydney Grace. This is a um, Mel Thompson collaboration if you have not seen this eyeshadow palette. I did have this in my 2020 Beauty Favorites. It's just a fantastic palette. has really beautiful, wearable, everyday type color. Go ahead and go into this palette. I am going to do something pretty wearable just because it is really early in the morning. I do have stuff to do today. So I'm going to go in with this walking stick right here and apply that into the crease. I'm going to put that into the outer half of my crease and I'm going to blow it up just a little bit out towards my brow. I'm actually taking that onto the half, the back, pretty much the back half of my lid. I'm going to only do just a few shadows with today's look. I just want to do kind of a, um, a neutral, blown out, smoky eye, but like daytime appropriate. I'm going to go ahead into this Death Moth color. I'm going to darken up the outer V. Next, I'm going to take Web. I'm going to apply that onto the front half of my lid.
back into that blending brush, I'm going to take that walking stick and just apply a bit more of that. I have a new eye topper that I am so excited about. It's probably my favorite single shadow. I absolutely love this. So this is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Smoked. This is the most beautiful, taupey, neutral eyeshadow. I love this. It is so impactful. The glitter is incredible. This is probably the most beautiful single eyeshadow I own. I just am in love with this. I did just recently purchase this. Go ahead and apply this to the front half of my eye. Just applying that with my finger because this finger, this nail broke, so I can actually use my fingers right now. <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply that, and that is just so glowy and glittery and beautiful. It makes my eyelids look wet. It's just an absolute beautiful shadow. Quite expensive, but honestly, I, for some reason, I just think this is beautiful. This is the color that I have been looking for a single shadow in this specific color for so long. It just works so well with my neutral skin tone. It is the most beautiful one and done eyeshadow I have ever seen. So that is it. It is so absolutely gorgeous and glittery. I love it. So that's all I'm going to do for the eyes. I will apply mascara, but I'm not going to do any liner in anything just because I do want this to be a daytime look. And then to prime my face for foundation, I am going into my Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. I love this so much. It is the most hydrating, glowy, beautiful primer. I have used so much of this. You can see almost the bottom. I have bought another one. I will continue to use this. It's such a great one because I am going to be using a more full coverage, um, more matte foundation. I do want to really prime my skin so that this foundation lays really nice on top of it. And if you can see the glow of that primer, it's so beautiful. It's such a thick, hydrating cream. I just love this primer. I've never heard anyone talk about it, but it's such a beautiful, hydrating primer. So if you have really dry skin, especially during the winter, I have extremely dry skin. I love using this primer just because it makes my skin feel so soft and look so luminous. And then you can actually see the glow underneath any, pretty much any foundation you use let my primer sit on my skin just for a few minutes before I apply foundation so it can really settle into my skin, hydrate my skin, and then I go on top of it with my foundation. For a foundation, I'm going to go on my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation. I have this in 108 Light. I discovered this in 2020. It is such a great foundation. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. Definitely buildable. Looks really nice on the skin. It's not overly drying, especially if I prime my skin properly. It's such a great foundation. I do really love this. This foundation is a tiny bit yellow in color, but as long as I use just a little bit, it works just fine. It has really incredible coverage, and really with foundation, I think people overdo it a lot. That new TikTok trend where they put 10 pounds of foundation on the skin, that will never look good ever. And it will look so cakey and so gross. It's so unrealistic, so I really hate that that's even a trend. But what I have found, use just a tiny bit, spread it around your entire face, and then you can spot conceal with a high coverage concealer or you need additional coverage. I just think it looks the most natural and the most pretty when you use just a tiny bit of foundation. It has a really nice satin finish, but because I did apply that really glowy primer underneath, it does add some beautiful glow to my skin, which you can still see through the foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I have this in 08 Light. It is a little too light for me, but it works just fine. And this is also another medium to full coverage concealer. Really incredible coverage. And I like to use just a little bit of it just because it does have quite a lot of coverage. I use a little bit right here because I am dealing with some redness on the tops of my cheeks. So I put it there to cover it. And then I'm just going to blend that starting in the middle and kind of just bringing it up. And I always put it in the middle corner because I have a lot of darkness right there. And then I, I do have a little bit of dark spots here. And I blend that upwards and that gives me kind of the elongated look to my face. It's a really great everyday concealer. I don't have to set it a ton because it does set down pretty well. And it does increase a ton. That coverage is just really great. You can definitely see a little bit of darkness, but... If I pile on enough concealer to cover my darkness, I will look cakey. <laughs> so it's either darkness or cakey, I choose darkness. <laughs> that is my foundation routine recently during the winter, or something very hydrating for a primer. I have been just changing out the foundation, Something some days I use something a little bit lighter, but I did want to show that Dose of Colors foundation on camera because it is a really great medium to full coverage foundation. I'm going to do some cream products. I just love cream products so much. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Match Stick. This is an amber. This is a very cool toned contour color. 
This was also in my 2020 favorites. I just love this formula. It works so well for me. A little dual fiber brush. I swipe it into the product and then I just apply it that way. So I'm adding just a bit of a contour to my cheeks. And if you are super pale, this color works so well for a contour. It's very ashy toned, which I really like because during the winter I get super, super pale. And this is just the perfect type of shadow. I love this formula way more than the Korean bronzer formula. I think it just works so well. It blends out really well and it lasts a long time, which is the biggest thing. So I'm going to apply just a little bit to my nose with the same brush and just give it a bit of a shadow. I also take it and I just apply a little bit to the bottom of my lip and blend that out and it just gives me the appearance of bigger lips. That glow from that primer is so beautiful. Honestly, you wouldn't even have to add highlighter if you don't want to. I will, but you wouldn't have to. <laughs> the next product is super exciting. It is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I have been looking for this everywhere. Color Caribbean. It is a beautiful, dark, kind of whiny tone. I apply this with a dual fiber brush, just a little bit of smaller one, and I just swirl it into the product, and then I apply it that way. So this formula is super pigmented if you just saw that I just applied a little bit it's so pigmented but what I love most about this formula is that it is super smoothing and I think it's because it does have kind of the same formula as our putty blush so it fills in the pores but it makes your cheek just look so flawless it really does kind of blur out the cheek area adds a beautiful color and then it just makes your cheek look super smooth. So I apply it and then I do just go over it with the sponge I use for my foundation just to kind of blend my concealer and my foundation all together. And it just is such a gorgeous color. Or they're all kind of pinks or reds, um, but I do wish they would come out with something maybe a bit more like bronzy type everyday color because I would definitely get that. Alright, next product I'm going to use is the Fenty Matchstick. This is their highlighter formula. This is in Starstruck. It's a very beautiful kind of pinky, champagne-y type color. So I just rub my fingers on the top of the product and then I just tap it onto my cheekbones, the high places of my face. This isn't my favorite highlighter formula. Um, it's a bit more glittery. It, you can kind of feel the glitter on your fingers, but it is really pretty. It's not my favorite formula, but it is a gorgeous color and adds just a beautiful glow to your cheeks. I like this for my skin tone. I think it's a really beautiful kind of neutral pink. Apply a little bit to the tip of my nose, a little bit to my cupid's bow, and I will just leave it at that. So I did get a few products from Nabla Cosmetics. They were my first products from Nabla. I've been really excited to try these. So this is the Nabla Skin Bronzing and Soft Revenge. I did get a few of the Nabla Cosmetics products. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this today. I have been using this since I bought it almost every day. And I absolutely love this bronzer. It adds such a smoothing effect to the skin. It's such a great color for my fair skin. And it just adds a beautiful glow and a beautiful, beautiful finish to the skin to where I just look poreless. Next, I have another blush I want to talk to you guys about. This is the Nabla blush, and this is in Independence. What a beautiful, beautiful color and a beautiful formula. I love this blush so much. It is so beautiful. I kind of use it as a blush topper because it's not the most pigmented, but it does have a beautiful glow. It also has a smoothing um, aspect to it. It just makes your skin look so glowy and so beautiful. I love the color. It works really well for my fair skin. Um, I have been finding some winners for makeup recently. Just some beautiful products that I've wanted to try for a really long time but I never got around to trying it and I have in the last month. These products are just the most gorgeous for my skin tone. I'm really kind of finding what works for fair skin. Um, and like I said, I found the perfect eyeshadow. I've been looking for that tone forever. This blush and that bronzer from Nabla, really fantastic products. Go ahead and go in with my Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder. This is just the most perfect powder for me. I'm, it just never, it never looks cakey. It never looks crepey. It never looks dry. It just works so well. So I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes, not, a ver not very much, a little bit around my nose and a little bit around my mouth. Brand new product that I bought was the NYX High Glass. This is the finishing powder. This is an extremely glowy, really beautiful finishing powder. I like it a lot. Um, if you apply too much, it can definitely look a little overboard. But if you apply just a little bit, it does make your makeup feel set, 
and it adds a beautiful glow all over the skin but I like that it makes my face feel set um, but does not take away the glow that I already have. Most powders, they just mattify your face, which I do not care to do. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, apply my mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Falsy um, Flash Flare. Love this mascara very much. I'm going to do my lips. I did get the NYX Shine Loud lipstick. I've seen this all over Twitter. I did want to try it out. I've been using the last couple days, but I've always used it with a lip liner just because I prefer to use everything with a lip liner. If you do use this with a lip liner, it does transfer. So I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys without a lip liner to, and we'll do the no transfer test. The color Global Citizen is a really great mid-tone nude. It is a bent paddle applicator. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. The way it is pointed does make it a lot easier to apply without lip liner. So this is a very creamy formula. You do let it sit for 60 seconds, let it dry, and then you apply the gloss. Once it sits for 60 seconds, it is extremely sticky, and then you apply the gloss. So I'm just going to let this sit. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the gloss. It is a really big brush applicator, and I'm just going to apply a little bit to the middle, and a little bit. Uh, on my cupid's bow so it is so beautiful when you put the gloss on I really like the gloss is like a thicker balm it is super hydrating and it's not sticky at all see how it, if it transfers and zero transfer it definitely picks up the gloss for sure, but it does not transfer off of your lips. I really do like this product. It does wear not the greatest. Um, probably after about five, six hours, it starts looking a little heavy. Just put a little bit more gloss on it, and it kind of revives and it looks great. All right, so there is a finished look. I am loving pretty much all the products that I use in this video. I'm so glad that I purchased most of them. The only one that I'm not a huge fan of is that NYX Brow Glue. It is super goopy, super heavy, not a huge fan, but the NYX Fluff and Fill was super surprising. I didn't even purchase that. It was just a free gift with purchase from Ulta, and I absolutely like it. I like it a lot. My eyebrows look like they're going to stay in place. They feel really great. I've um, been loving the dose of colors. The Nabla is beautiful. That primer, all-time favorite, be it without a doubt. The e.l.f. Putty Blush, freaking 10 out of 10. Love that cream blush. Just love all the products that I've been using. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.